Okay, so I'm going to show you how we fleet our sun rays. Um, this is an evening length one, so we're going to get a drop of about 120 uh, once it's finished. And it should take about 10 minutes. Okay, so just take the tie off like that, put it to one side, and that way. And then we turn it out and we just put that on about there. And that's the, that's the one that's just come out. As you can see, it's, it's not a straight hand, but then it's an odd shape, so it's semicircle. Out. Yeah, I have to get this flat. Clip there. Clip there. Take the sunray. Now this is quite an awkward one because um, it's going to stick out the edge of the pan. So this would take longer than it normally does. They've asked me to just make sure the notch is in the right place. Yeah. Okay, we always pleat face up. Just for consistency rather than anything else. You can pleat face down or face up. Um, and sometimes pleating face down would suit you. Okay, so once that's on there, we've got a centre notch there, which is in the centre of the semicircle. Three weights, just there. And then pull out the side. There. And exactly the same. There. And this is this is our stitch line. This pleats our stitch line, so we go out one one pleat over the stitch line. Okay, you now need to get your grain on line. Just come around this side, and that's why we've got the three weights there, so we can pull parallel to the two weights. And you can see the grain line, and lay it down, and that's your centre point. Side. I'm come round. Okay, now we have X's on the bottom and the top of the pattern. If you come over, have a look at that. You see, there's an X there, an X there, and that, that's how we mark, match up the pattern. Put that on there. And this on here. Once I've done this, I think 
then go around the edge of the pattern and make sure that it's both patterns, top and bottom, the edge matches. Because if that doesn't happen, what will happen is when you try and put it together, it won't fit together very well. Unclip that. That's okay. That's okay. So I'll unclip that. Move the fabric over the top. And the reason to do that is um, when you're doing that, if your fabric gets caught on something as you're doing it, then it will pull it in the pattern and it'll go off grain. So you've got to make sure that that doesn't happen. So then unclip. Do a few pleats. I'll get the centre one. And I'll put that down there where the small pleats are just to keep it in place as I'm going through. As I go through, put my fingers in like that and push towards it. Okay, like that. takes the skill and the practice. ready for me to tie up. So normally we rest the thicker part when we put it in the steam box but because we've got fabric here we can't do that. If we put it on the top part and we rest it like that the, the pattern bends so we've got these thick plates that we just put underneath. And on top, like that. And then we get our tie ups. So, two pieces of wood, slip knot there, that goes over. Tie around there, go back. Tie it around there, pull it tight. Okay. And then that like that. Now, before I go any further, just take these out. sure the pleats are all correct. Squash it up. And just tie it up like that. So normally we would Rest it like that. But because we've got fabric sticking out the bottom, we have to do it upside down. And that's it. And then half an hour later, we put it in the steam box for half an hour, and then we let it cool down for about half an hour, and then we just repeat the process. So I don't know how long that's taken, but um, probably about 10 minutes or so. 